What is also interesting for us to remember is that after January, in February, that somewhere around the middle of February, there was a, ce uh, there was a celebration that was known in, by the ancient Romans as the Lupercalia. And the Lupercalia was a, a ceremony, and Luper means wolf. And they depicted a wolf chasing a little girl. And so the Lupercalia was the celebration of the wolf. And the authorities there would gather together young people, and they would put their names into a box, men and women, and they would take out the names, and whoever was your partner was your partner for the day, and all types of sexual activity went on during that day. They were totally out of control. That is the Lupercalia. Now, around February 14th, around 270 AD of the Christian era, a bishop by the name of Valentine, he was trying to work with the Roman soldiers because the Roman emperor um, had imposed upon his soldiers that anybody who joined the army could not get married. Because if you got married, you're thinking about your wife all the time, and you're a useless soldier. But the soldiers wanted to get married, so St. Valentine worked with them, and he was captured by the Roman emperor, he was imprisoned, and he was beheaded. And so a legend formed around St. Valentine's Day. In one case, it said he even helped a blind young girl. He was trying to help her get married. And so she wrote a note, and it was found in his jail cell, to my Valentine. And so now you have Valentine's Day. For those who are part of the monotheistic tradition, who understand that, that the relationship between men and women should be done in a sacred way within marriage, and not in a loose way before marriage. And we see what is happening in the society itself. So we understand what is going on in the society. That's because people have lost their limits, the hudud. And so those who are maintaining the limits recognize that St. Valentine's Day is really part of a pagan holiday. And so St. Valentine's Day is another time that we have to take a stand. But the position we are taking is the young people should have nothing to do with Valentine's Day. You have to step out of that completely.